I'm ready to talk about Ninja Turtles, not illegal aliens. What about you, Noob Noob? <laughs> I like turtles. Oh my god. I heard <laughs> that they're going to make illegal turtles. Illegal turtles. Are they legal aliens in the U.S.? I feel like they were born in the U.S., so they're allowed to be here. They, they did not cross any borders. They were they forcibly were born there. smuggled in. Yeah. The Ninja Turtles, well, Ninja Turtle, is going to have a movie. I feel like we covered this story in the past. No, we Maybe covered the game. It was a video game. We covered the game. Now they're turning the game into a movie. You mean the comic book into a movie and the no, comic, the, the book, comic into book went game. into a game and the game went into a movie. Well, this is going to be a live action R-rated. I don't know why it's R-rated. Does he have uh, a lot relationships of with April O'Neil? There's a lot of death. Is April O'Neil going to be like six maybe she, years old? Maybe she gets murdered too. I mean, who knows? But it's a live action R-rated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie in the works from none other than Walter Hamada. Now he's who, a ninja himself. Look at him. He may or may not have illegally uh, touched. Uh, who's the guy? Ezra from, Miller? No, the other guy who played Cyborg. Michael Keaton? No. Uh, Ray, Winst- Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher and Walter Hamada do not get along. Yep. Because of touching. Allegedly. I don't know if it was touching. Ah. I- either but tyler burton smith who co-wrote the upcoming boy kills world which i've never heard about is going to co-write this after the success of last year's animated hit teenage mutant ninja turtles mutant mayhem paramount pictures is keeping its turtle power by putting a few new projects into development this one is a little outside of, w- of what we're used to, though. It's it's based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin adaptation of the IDW comic book into a live action thing. That eh, sounds kind of crazy. Apparently, this guy also co-wrote the Tyler Burton Smith co-wrote 2019 iteration of Chucky. Child's Play. The one that's not that good with Mark Hamill. No? Yes. Yeah. The... Wait, oh god, that one sucks. Yeah, nah, the, I'm not the robotic, super excited uh, about that. The robotic ones. Yeah, who was the mom? Somebody was the mom in that. A famous one. Yeah, wasn't it the girl from Community who's like kind of weird? Sweet. Not Community from uh, Parks and Rec. Leslie, no, not no. Leslie. Nope. Daubry something. Daubry. Aubrey Plaza. Oh Aubrey yeah, Plaza. yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Aubrey Plaza. Kind of weird, right? She was the mom. She's she's hot sometimes. Yeah. Well, Walter Hamada is producing through his 18 Hertz production company as part of a multi-year deal with the studio. He used to be the head of DC. He is the man who's not single-handedly responsible, but mostly responsible for destroying everything after BVS. Batman versus Superman. He hates the guy who plays the Witcher. Poor Henry Cavill. Yeah, he hates Henry Cavill. He's now it's not Liam Hemsworth's getting swole. But he is responsible for such horror movies as The Conjuring and the It franchises. So he's trying to get back into the horror genre. And if you're not aware, The Last Ronin is a terrifying tale of the turtles in a totalitarian future of New York City where all of the turtles and Master Splinter are killed off one by one by the grandson of the villainous Shredder. And one turtle survives... And it vows to exact bloody vengeance. Orange turtle. Now, is that a coincidence? Shut no, 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 ruin anything for you people. Stop oh. it. How dare you? Orange turtle red. Uh, what? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the co-creators of the Ninja Turtles, Kevin Eastman and Tom Waltz, wrote the comic book based on an older story by Eastman. It's the first time they collaborated together again, which is kind of interesting. And it was the second highest selling graphic novel of 23, 2023. I thought that was an older... That's no, it just came out a couple of years ago. That story, is that new? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 I thought it was like kind of old. No, 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 no. It originally debuted as a black and white comic in 1984 where there were no colors of any of the uh, turtles. turtles. They were all just one color, black and white. We see no color in the turtles. No. And they, they claim they were parodying comics like Chris Claremont's X-Men and Frank Miller's Stuff. It was much darker. There was a lot more violence in it. And then it became like the 
you know, fun popping Ninja Turtles that you're used to. And then Michael Bay ruined everything with Megan Fox and Will Arnett. Terrible. And then Mutant Mayhem produced by Seth Rogen's point. I did not like that. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. I did not enjoy it. It it wasn't great. It was like they were trying to keep. I don't know what it was. They were trying to keep the license and not. I didn't necessarily hate. Well, I I don't know if I hated it, but it was. No, it wasn't good. I didn't like the incomplete drawings and the weird sketchy style and the kids talking over over each other were all kind of annoying. Oh, yes. They were a bunch of just annoying kids. Yeah. And April was also annoying. Everything about it was annoying. They weren't even like good ninjas. They were like kind of bad ninjas and they kind of just won by luck. Yeah. They were just little tiny annoying children. Yeah. I don't want to see annoying teen like they were like pre-teenage Ninja Turtles, not teenage. Yeah. Donatello didn't even have his balls drop yet. Yeah. He was like, oh, Donatello, hi. It's not very exciting. I, I did not like it. I do not like it. But I would prefer to see the last ninja where whoever, whatever ninja survived is his balls definitely dropped and he was definitely ready for killing. So I feel like they're even going to have a sequel to Mutant Mayhem, which also makes me sad because I just didn't like it. Ice-T, uh, what was Ice-T's character? No, it was Ice Cube. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, Ice Ice Cube? It was Ice Cube was the main villain. Was he? Yep. Ugh. I already blacked out that. I didn't even buy it. It. I just did. It wasn't terrible. I didn't hate it like you said, but I didn't enjoy it. It's not as good as the live action one from Michael Bay, even though he just produced it. (sighs) Those are good movies. I don't know why people didn't like them. They should have kept making them. What? No. They were. They were. First of all, they were ugly. And disturbing. Nah. And April O'Neil was not a redhead. Who cares? I care. He. Why would she agree to work with him again if she hated? It's him? better than uh, Blade Pro. It wasn't. He was just a producer. Yeah, but why would she? He wasn't directing know. her or whatever. He wasn't making her dress in skimpy outfits and such. She was still in skimpy outfits. Eh, not skimpy enough. This is before she got ruined by MGK. You mean prior to Jennifer's body? No, this was after Jennifer's Body. Oh, yes, you're correct. Yeah. Jennifer's Body was a weird movie. Yeah. I don't know about that one. There was some stripper who wrote that. I can't remember her name. Yeah, she yeah, she was like a big thing that year, and then she sucks. She's never done anything since. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let us know what you think of the comments down below. Do you want to see a Ninja Turtle Last Ronin adaptation? I don't see who wouldn't. Do you want to leave it strictly for the video game? Nope. More or- the barrier. No, all live action and as ugly as the Michael Bay ones. Yes? Yes. No, they should do live action like the 80s movies where it's just those costumes. I like those costumes better. They're creepy. They are. I prefer them. Yeah. Ninja Turtles 1 is great. And then you have the Ice Cube one with Ninja Turtles 2, which is kind of weird. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. That was great. Yeah, so I would prefer to see that. I like those uh, live action suits. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. In the meantime, you can also check out our podcast, which is on iTunes. You can also check out the live stream here, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. You can also catch us on Rumble. You can join the channel. You can super chat us, do all those things and more because we need the support like and subscribe tell your friends tell your family tell your mom tell your kids tell your wife but we are on to the next one